now when we discussing uh, here about this uh, atomic structure again question is that uh, what is the way electrons are revolving around nucleus they are just uh, that means nucleus is there and electrons are following any path or uh, like that we are discussing out now now we are discussing initially about our solar system in case of solar system sun is at center and electrons uh, sorry planets are revolving around it in definite orbital same way in atomic structure there is nucleus at center and electrons are revolving around it so we can consider the miniature of this solar system is found in atom there were certain questions but uh, we are not discussing that right now we are discussing how electrons are distributed in the atom for that purpose we must aware of two principles basically we are calling first as z that is called as atomic number and second a that is atomic mass number so these two concepts are important in order to get certain data so we are practicing out right now so atomic number and atomic mass number you are aware that atomic number that is correspond to number of protons or number of electron but right now i should say that forget of electron first focus on number of proton only mass number you are aware that total number of protons plus neutron present in any atom that is called as mass number now these two are characteristic of an atom how we are writing out say for example i have to write element say hydrogen so i should write down its symbol that hydrogen h here i have to write atomic number so atomic number is denoted by letter z and here i have to write down atomic mass number now in case of hydrogen as we discuss that there are or there is only one proton so atomic number is here and mass number as neutron is absent only one proton so mass is only one so this way i can write atom so this is standard style of writing atomic number and mass number now helium helium is having two protons whereas two neutrons are also there so mass number is 4 like that chlorine is having 17 protons and 35 is their mass number so this way we have to by heart what is atomic number and what is mass number so there are several elements and still new elements are producing out and discovering out so uh, from atomic number 1 to with fewer exception atomic number 92 i am revising atomic number 1 to atomic number 92 the elements occur in nature they are called as natural elements so atomic number 1 to atomic number 92 with exceptions like promethium promethium is not naturally occurring but uh, that is having atomic number less than 92 so with that style of ex exceptions all these elements from atomic number 1 to atomic number 19 are occurring out in nature so they are natural elements 93 onwards elements are synthetically prepared they are called as synthetic element or usually trans uranic element because atomic number 92 is having name uranium you are aware of that which is used in nuclear bomb so beyond that whatever elements are there they are called as trans uranic element so either synthetic element or trans uranic element now uh, this is the way atoms we can identify so atom is identified by its atomic number and 
mass number now slowly we will find out the importance of this all now we discussed that atomic number predominantly gives number of proton but in any atom whatever the number of protons are there that is the number of electrons so we have to check out certain atom and how electrons are assigned according to great scientist niels bohr in any shell now what is shell the orbit whatever i am showing here uh, that is called as orbit so the path in which electron revolves around nucleus that is orbit in any orbit what is the maximum number of electron niels bohr says the maximum number of electron in any orbit that is equal to 2 n square n belong to number of shell say simple formula in any atom in any orbit what is the maximum electron can revolve mm. that is given by 2 n square say this is nucleus these are the orbitals so this is first orbit this is second orbit this is third orbit like that what is the number of electrons in first orbit what is in second orbit what is in third orbit so let us check out for first orbit obviously n equal to 1 why because first orbit so number of electron that is equal to 2 into 1 square as it is 2 into 1 square and you are aware that 1 square is 1 so number of electrons that is 2 now this is maximum number of electrons so i am writing here for first orbit how many electrons are there possible two that is the maximum number of electrons for second orbit it is equal to 2 into n whatever the n we have to place 2 square so that is 2 into 2 square 2 square is 4 so we are having that as 8 so in second orbit maximum number of electrons there are 8 i am again and again using word maximum number of electrons now for third orbit uh, it is 2 into 3 square you are aware 3 square is 9 so it is 2 into 9 so we are getting answer as 18 so maximum possible electrons in third orbit that is 18 and so on you can check out because n number n stands for number of shell that can be 1 to infinite so on basis of that we can calculate number of electrons now let us check out the arrangement of these electrons in atom the arrangement of this electron in atom is called as electronic configuration so our topic now begins that is the electronic configuration it's very very simple uh, we are going with that uh, try to write down along with me if possible otherwise you can pause this video and check out again i am first giving you simple electronic configuration that is about sodium metal now you are aware atomic number is 11 mass number is 23 so this is atomic number this is atomic mass number what name of element i called sodium why na is written because this symbols of element they are made in latin language in latin language sodium is called as natrium as it is natrium first two letters are considered but first is capital and second is always small so this way we are giving symbol of sodium as natrium na now uh, we have to check out how electrons are distributed first tell me what is number of electrons over here uh, as atomic number is 11 that means number of protons 11 if number of protons 11 then number of electrons is also 11 and we are getting number of electrons as 11 so i had to distribute now 11 electrons in different shells so this is first shell so first shell n equal to 
second shell n equal to 2 third shell n equal to 3 fourth shell n equal to 4 fifth shell n equal to 5 now what is the maximum number of electrons i can accommodate over here so that number is 2 n square so here uh, 2 n square that is 2 the 2 into 1 square now here 2 n square that is 8 here 3 n square uh, sorry 2 n square that is 2 into 3 square that is 18 here 2 n square that is 2 into 4 square that is 32 and here 2 n square that is 2 into 5 square that is 50 so i can accommodate maximum 2 electron 8 electron 18 electron 32 electron and 50 electron in these shells maximum number now first rule that i should fill lower shell full and then move to higher shell means here i am filling out this shell first that 11 electrons are there i am not going to fill 11 electrons here and keeping this shell vacant first fill lower shell then upper then upper and then still upper so here there are 11 electrons i have to fill lower shell first so first rule is that we have to fill all the electrons in first shell as far as possible that is to the capacity capacity means maximum number of electron i can accommodate over there so here i am filling out first as two electrons over here because maximum capacity is two there are 11 electrons I am filling out 2 electron. What is the reminder? 9. So in second shell, I can fill out 8 electron. That is the capacity. As 8 electrons are filled over here, total is 8 plus 2, 10. So we are getting reminder as 1. There are 11 electrons. Still one reminder is there. I can keep that electron over here. No doubt, capacity is 18. But I have only one electron to fill. And so, I am filling out one electron over here. So this way, according to using our, uh, according to our first rule, we can able to fulfill or we can able to find out electronic configuration. Now you try to find out electronic configuration of this, ele this element. Now you try to find out uh, electronic configuration of element chlorine, atomic number 17, and mass number 37 so try to find out electronic configuration of chlorine atomic number 17 and mass number 37 uh, pause this video try to find out yourself then i am going to explain that means you have to start this video again so pause this video and now start so here uh, there are 17 electrons because atomic number is 17 so first shell i can accommodate two electron first lower shell is filled then upper shell i can fill eight electron total eight plus two that is ten electrons so ten electrons are accommodated here reminder is seven what is the capacity 18 so i can fill here seven electrons reminder all so this is the electronic configuration of chlorine so in case of sodium it is given electronic configuration as here I am writing out how we are giving electronic configuration. Here we are giving electronic configuration as 2, 8, 1. In case of chlorine, we are giving electronic configuration as 2, 8, 7. Very nice. Now uh, try to get electronic configuration of new element. That is atomic number calcium. That is atomic number 20 and mass number 40. Don't pause this video. First observe. Now here, certain another rule also we have to use. Say calcium, atomic number 20. That means how many electrons are there? 20. So with my first rule, I can say two electrons here filled. Reminder 18. I can fill eight electrons over here filled. So two plus eight, 10. Reminder 10. Here capacity is 18. So I can place 10 electrons over here getting idea so supposed to be the electronic configuration must be 2 8 and 10 now 20 electrons are filled but what our rule says that last shell 
should not have more than eight electrons. So rule number second, we have to check last shell should not have more than eight electrons. In first example, there are there is only one electron. So last shell is not having more than eight electron. Here less than eight electron. I can place eight electron, but not more than eight electron. Here maximum number I am getting here exceeded that it is having 10 electrons and so I have to rub this and I can accommodate maximum 8 electrons only but because of that this becomes second last shell 8 electrons and a reminder now 2 electrons that I have to place over here getting idea. So this way electronic configuration is not 2, 8, 10 it is 2, 8, 8, 2. So I am writing this electronic configuration as 2, 8, 8, 2. So this way we can try out electronic configuration of various elements. Particularly this scheme works from z equal to 1 to z equal to 20. But uh, I hope that you are not able to get this point very clearly. Say last shell should not have more than 10 electron, uh, sorry more than 8 electron whereas our last shell was consisting of 10 electrons. So we just remove 2 electron and put over here. Why not this way that I should have 9 electron and 1 like that questions may be there. Yes think because science is giving you open way of thinking and for that purpose we are introducing another scheme here that is also given by Niels Bohr. We are calling that as Aufbau principle hmm? because question is there why not this way I have to give answer now and for that purpose we are introducing a new scheme that is called as Aufbau principle in German language or Danish language this is called as to fill up. Aufbau is not name of person meaning of Aufbau that is to fill up principle. So we are now discussing here of wow principle but for that purpose certain basic requirements we require.